What's up, Scrollsers? It's Nerp here. This week, I got number three on the ladder winner and the most wins of the week, so that is the first time I have gotten two weekly winners with the same account um, in the same week. I've gotten number one and two uh, on the ladder with my main account and my alt account, uh, but I've never gotten the most wins of the week and one of these, which I think is pretty cool because then it like shows you played a lot to get there. I know Hatharo. Hatharo did this, number three, and the most wins will be winner a couple of weeks ago. So I think I'm the second person to do that. And uh, Naki and Nakina are pretty far ahead of me right now. They're like 1950-ish. I'm only 1900. So I'm not going to make a push just yet to get there. Today we're just going to play some Judgment. But um, the day I'm recording this uh, was the day that the live server patch came out, which uh, put... Like, this is 1.1 now, so the new decks are on the server, and the idols are here. First of all, in my idol video, the, this arcane conduit was there, but instead of this red crystal, there was, like, something called effigy, like, something effigy is some decay thing. Um, yeah, so, now this one was here, so a lot of people were kind of confused, including me. And it seems like there's, there's like, a bunch of idols they have right now, and every week... There's going to be two different ones sold in the store. Like, everybody has the same ones available. So, like, you have to check in every week to see, um... Like, kind of like how Just For You section used to change every week. It's going to be, like, these are the idols. Well, I mean, actually, it's not, it's not like Just For You. Just For You is, um, is different for each player. But, yeah, these rotate every week, so you got to check in every week to see what idols you can get. And this week is the Red Crystal and the Arcane Conduit. For some reason, the Red Crystal is 5,000 gold. Arcane Conduit is 3,000 gold. Um, I don't know why that is, uh, I just bought both anyways, uh, I'm gonna be buying all this stuff. And you can buy them with shards, which I suspect a lot of people are gonna be doing because they don't know what to do with all the shards that all the beta players were given. And all the new, all the new decks, uh, from the design contest were added onto the live server. Um, they show, like, all the stuff, and... They're 8,000 gold each. Um, I didn't. I thought they were going to be more like 5,000 or 6,500, considering all of these are so much cheaper. Uh, maybe they'll have lower prices. But regardless, I'm just going to go ahead and buy them all right now. Um, and the Roller Ross one, it does show uh, the like weird blue colored armor when he has green colored armor still on the scroll and in the unit art. So that's a little confusing. I don't know what that, what's up with that. Maybe they just like, I, I don't have an explanation for that. All right. Um, you know, it's going to bug me if I keep these here. I got to delete these. Yeah, two, ba two badgers one. Um, Holofoil and Magpie Man both got a win. And that is it. All right. So now finally... After that long introduction, we can play some Judgment. And... Hmm. Gravelock Guard, Scatter Gunner, Boom Reaver looks like the play. Looks like the choices here. I mean, Mitchell Vetter is okay. Kabank is okay. Angie Wolf is okay. But I think, obviously, the energy looks the strongest right now. I'll start with the Gravelock Guard. Um, and here is a rod here, I'll probably just take that, but there's, I'm not going to take a Infected Greylock over a Scatter Gunner here. Um, and then there's Akka Circle and Tuchel Spearman to get, uh, in all the factors right now, it's okay though. I'll take the Boom Reaver, and now we have Dugo Inventryman, okay. Here I will take, I could just take like the Infiltrate, and then Spearman, and then Infantryman. Um, wouldn't be the worst thing, I'm going to take the rod here though, you never know, maybe we're going to get some nice big Decay Drops. Now there's some growth down here, and it's Ducal Skirmisher, okay. Ducal Skirmishers are really good. Um, maybe Ducal Skirmishers aren't as good in Judgment as they are in Constructed, though, because, like, in Construction, you have your deck centered around, like, increasing their attack, but in Judgment, you're not as likely to get attack buffs for relentless creatures, but they're still nice and strong. Um, I think I like Ducal Skirmisher more than Outcast Rebels, so I'll take that. I don't have any growth stuff anyways. Um, and Gallant Defender is good. But so is Copper Automaton and Brain Lice. Take Ducal Skirmisher there. And now we have Double Locking Broods. We have 
Festering Freak, which is good, Snargle Hunter, Ancestral Totem, which is good. A lot of choices. Um, we can all have order stuff down here in New York, so we could take the Gaunt Defender here. We'd have four four good order creatures. Um, or I could go with, like, Copper Automaton, Locking Brood, and, like, if you guys remember my last session video, Copper Automatons and Locking Brood and Locking Brood are pretty effective when your opponent doesn't have any way to deal with them. So that could be an option. Um, or I can have the Festering Freak to pair with the Rod Eater. I don't think, I don't think I'm going growth. I could always take the Snarl Hunter too. Uh, I think I'm going to take the Gallant Defender here over the Copper Automaton. Gallant Defender just is really nice. Alright, now we get a Iron Ogre. And then there's a Mundo Fighter. Okay. Here I'm going to take a Lockling Brood. And then... I have two through jobs. I'll take another Lockling Brood here. Okay. I could take the Iron Ogre now. Um yeah, I'm probably gonna be as only of the rod here. I don't think I don't think we're gonna be in decay. I mean there's Tether Crew, there we go, decay order. But yeah, I don't think we're in decay, but I almost want to take the plating because replenish is great in judgment because it allows you to easily splash in two cost like things and other factions. But you know what? No, I'll take the Iron Ogre. It's just so much value if you can if you can get him on the board and your opponent doesn't have like damage curse or something. Or about dispersal. Uh, now we have Anima Conduit, which is a really good, but it doesn't look like we're in Decay. Um, I don't know, I'll take the Magnetizer, another Dugal Skirmisher, Arbalester. Okay, hmm. I'm going to take the Horn of Ages, this is a spell for the Arby. This is a Oblivion Seeker. This is, this, a lot of good scrolls from a lot of different factions here. Uh, here I don't have great stuff. I guess I'll just take, I think I want to be either order or energy looking at what we have going here. So I'm, gonna, so I'm just going to take the Vicious Strike, and then of course nothing great on this, or I'll take the Champion Ring, who knows. Maybe I can enchant some Skirmishers. Alright, now we've got a lot of growth stuff now. That's a little annoying, we, we're not in really growth, but I do think that our energy or order stuff has been better. Um, only taking the Purification here um, over the Pilgrim's Feet because the spell for the Arbaluster. And a Knight Sergeant and a Squire, so that might, but there's also a Scattering Hunter, so I'm not really sure. Or actually, there's more that I can make this, like, dual, dual color decks, so I'll, I'll just take that for now. Um, Plating Amps and Mark Zealot. Scatter Gunner. Another Iron Ogre. Oh boy, well, I mean, I'm gonna take the Knight Sergeant here because there's not, like, another energy creature on the row that is gonna sway me. Okay. Wow, we, we have to start making some big decisions here. Do I want to go energy or order? Maybe I'll just go with both, but it's kind of hard to go with both and go deep into each one. What do we have more of? We have more order stuff, but we have, and we have a better order curve too. But two Iron Ogres is just amazing. Ah, two Iron Ogres is really fun. Nah, I think the Arbalester is probably a little bit better though. I'll take the Zealot here. Um, two Iron Ogres just again. Look at all this nice stuff. And a Blessing Ray. All right, I think. Order was the best nice decision. So Wings Charger, um, a nice vanilla creature. Um, and do I want to take the Wings Shield? The Wings Captain. Wings Shield has more value. But Wings Captain, if I don't have enough Forge. Actually, no, I've, I don't have, I barely have any three cost scrolls, so I'll definitely take the Wings Shield here. Um, I find Blessing of Haste much more valuable than Kabonk. Uh, I don't know. I guess I could have. And there's a general down here. Wow. I guess I could have a Loyal Darkling, leave an Idol on 2 health if I need to. Alright, then there's an FG of the Queen I could take, but here, um, I, I think I've decided I want to go with Order. So I think I'll just be taking the Caller's Bane. Um, yeah, it's going to be hard to get to like 4 energy. Well, I do have that one Desert Memorial. So that means I won't have to sacrifice, I would only have to sacrifice for energy once and then go for Wild twice because uh, the memorial would you should probably bring me up. But we're only at pick 27. I have a chance of going mono order. Not a great one though, because we were so split in the beginning. Um, I'll take the, screw it, I'll take the college man. Now, honorable general, definitely. And there's a yeah, nice creatures now, I'm getting a wing soldier. Um, Grounds of the Fallen, Grounds of the Fallen. Uh, used to be pretty bad now it might be okay because now it's limited to humans so it's definitely gonna help me 
more than my opponent in most cases. I'll take the Effigy of the Queen, who knows, could come in handy if I'm playing against like energy or something. So take the Grounds of the Fallen, take the Wing Soldier. Okay, now we got some interesting stuff. Um, I think I'll take the Power Bound. Alright, now we have a nice Infantryman there, but... Soldier's Bond does give Replenish, so that means I could get, like, just, like, put down a Spark like this. Alright, now we look at this, like, Order Creature, bro. Such, such innocent Order Creatures on this road. Nothing, like, too OP, just pretty solid. Now, what do I want to... Oh, the Decimation's good. Um, now what do I want to take if these guys... What's my curve looking like? Um, uh, my 14 creature, that's a good amount. Uh, I probably, I don't know if I, hmm. Okay, well, Wing Charger has just like the least, like strength, you know? I mean, well, he's probably the best creature, like, but like for five costs, I, I like him the least. Um, and I already have a bunch of, you know, I think I'm gonna go with the Ducal Spearman. I mean, I already have a bunch of four drops, but four is just like where I want to be at. I think, yeah, I'm going to take the Ducal Spearman. Um, if I'm playing against range deck, I might not be in too much good shape. Alright, Royal Inspiration uh, could just be easy card draw because when you have the Dominion, you're just playing a scroll and getting two back. I do have Knights like Knight Sergeant and Arbalester in this deck. Um, so, it should be able to work. Obelisk might not play it. Decimation, Royal Inspiration. Alright, we're, we're probably going to go mono here. Actually, it'll be really close. I'll take the spark. Yes, we're going mono. Yeah, there's three more. So I'll take the pother, the storm knight, and the wing soldier. And we saw how prisons, prisons of war worked in my last deck. Uh, I didn't realize it. It only takes the next creature scrolls. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be using it this time. Okay, let's see what we got with mono order. Not too shallow. Let's just take out this. Because we're not going into energy. And this is our mono order deck. Not too shabby. Uh, we only have... No, no, not only. We have eight spells. It's a good amount. Or should not. But do I want Prisoners of War? What's the point of having Prisoners of, Prisoners of War with no... Nothing to draw. Um, because I want to have spells for the Arbalester. Look at the nice serve. Nice curve. Three five drops. Two six drops. Uh, five... Four drops, only one three drop though. Um, then we get some a bunch of twos. All right, it's looking good. Now I have replenish. I have soldier's bone, which is replenish for two. So instead of having that desert memorial and trying to do something like that, I could just put in one two cost thing and just play it when I need to. Um, I can go with a spark for some quick removal. I can go for a champion ring, put on, uh, put it on a pierce, my piercing arbalester, or my relentless skirmisher, or I can go with a darkling. That's some pretty good choices. Um, considering I already have a decimation, I don't think I'm gonna take the darkling. I could always use the decimation to finish off an idol. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the champion ring. I, or er, you know, what, never mind. I'll just go with the spark. I was gonna take champion ring for my skirmishers, but. Um, I think this, but I already have a Simekra Zealot. I had kind of a pseudo spark, whatever. I wanted the spark because it's a spell. And it, uh, and it works with Arbalester. Order energy. Alright, let's find a match. And I'm gonna be. Oh yeah. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, did I set my. Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, so these are the idols right now that I have. And I guess I'll be using this one, the pro one, because it's more expensive, so that just makes me better. I'm just kidding. Uh, so, I'm gonna, I'll, but yeah, you get it, I'll be back. <laughs> All right, and now this is a post commentary, and I'm playing against copyright in the first match. So I have a pretty nice curve here of two into three into four, and at this point I wasn't actually sure, this is the first match I played with the um with one of the with one of the new idols so i wasn't actually sure if uh he sees my idols like that or um if yeah or was, i wasn't sure if he i can't see his idols like that um but the next match i found out you do see whatever your opponent chose to show as their idols so my opponent's seeing my idols 
as the crystals right now. And you see, I had a pretty good start. I ended up playing Soldier's Bond, and that means that uh, I wish I had it for the spark there. But I played it earlier. That wasn't too bad, though. And I'm just able to kill some stuff this turn. I can't really avoid the spiky damage this time. I killed the Royal Spearman with um, with the Wing Shield a second ago because the armor, too, from it protects against spiky damage. Spiky damage is physical damage. So here I just run away up there and just almost clear his board so it's looking very good for me I had a very good start and there is the first win of this run and then on to the second match I'm placing Vulcanhine yes it is pronounced Vulcanhine and we can see that you can see your opponent's idols as what they chose so that's pretty cool also by the way like if you didn't if you don't know um, what all the idols look like you can go to like scrolter.com I think orangey uh, put up pictures of like the idols like getting destroyed and stuff and there's also a lot of idols that are, aren't available in the store right now but are in like the image files of scrolls so you can check those out interesting they're like I think they're called like crystals in the scrolls files for some reason uh, not idols like all of them so I play a uh, down defender there and Vulcanhain actually decides to move up there I'm a little surprised he'd rather deal 4 damage to an idol instead of dealing 2 damage to me Obviously it wouldn't kill my guy because he has armor 2, or she has armor 2, but whatever. I take the 1 for 1 trade there, my 2 cost for his 3 cost, and he plays playing a lot of spiky stuff. I have a lot of spiky stuff in my deck, and um, he is a very aggressive deck so far, but I have a nice stronger drop, so I'm feeling okay with my, about my position. He's at 1 wild, 1 energy, one 2 order, I'm at 5 order, so it looks like I'll be doing okay, and he hasn't done that much idle yet. Idle damage yet. And he actually used a busting face just to get Dominion there. I don't know if that was that wise of a decision. Um, obviously, wanted Dominion for his Wing Spear because when the Wing Spear has Dominion, it has Spiky Four. So I just I just decided to avoid it. I'm gonna take it down. I'm gonna hope to take it down with the uh, whatever it's called, um, Saint Mark Zealot. But see, I actually decide maybe to take down one of the attacking units of the Sim Dark Zealot. Um, because obviously you should take down the units that are about to kill you. Um, so, if I remember correctly, I did do that. Yeah, so I give him up, kill the Dust Runner. Uh, keep around the other guy because they'll, he'll die to one of the Spearmen. And uh, then I have more strong creatures to put down in the following turns. And he plays a Skull Shrine. Interesting, he's very low resources, it looks like. He's not, not that low, he's of the wild. But um, I'm able to get the board clear on round 9 or round 10. And there's not really much he can do to come back from this. I'm able to just keep putting stuff on the board, get my Arbalest Steer out. Um, waste a little bit of damage there, but then he plays a Blind Rage. That value Blind Rage. Um, yeah, I'm actually surprised not many people play Blind Rage in Constructed. Uh, because now with Arbal waypoints brought in used to be Harvester and Solemn Giant were the only like kind of popular uh, high countdown units that like I'm not talking about like, three countdown I'm talking about like absurdly high countdown units that would really kill anything next to it with a blind rage like Harvester with his five countdown um, but now people play Arbalest Steer and Terrian Brute which would deal a lot of damage with blind rage so I think it could be a nice Thunderstruck replacement envy. I don't know. Um, I think I might try it out because he just got a great value blind rage right there, but not value enough for him to win this game. See, I have a blessing of haste in my hand this turn. I can just get the board clear. Um, I am lined up for Thunder Surge, but I'm not too worried about that. And uh, I don't know, just he surrender. Yeah, I think he surrenders this turn. So that is two wins, zero losses already. Also, the third match, and you see these these red crystal idols pink crystal idols are are very popular i haven't seen any um anybody use the energy conduit energy arcane conduit one yet i don't know maybe because this one's more expensive so it seems more prestigious that's why people use it i don't know it does look pretty cool it stands out from the board and you see in this match uh he's being pretty aggressive so much i do move up there uh 
just try to be a little aggressive, but it turns out back because he had a bombard, so he just clears my board. Uh, not the worst thing, though. I mean, he has not that powerful creatures. I'm going to be able to play 4 drops and 5 drops in succession. Uh, the guard is a little annoying. He'll deal some extra damage, but I hope he doesn't have any like, burns at this point. And I decided to get rid of the magnetizer. Get my guys cooped up at the top of the board. And... I'm just hoping I could claw my way back in toward, back towards the middle of the board. And he plays a Automata Forge, which could be a problem. I'm, I start to move down a little bit now that I have a nice armor on the field with the Gallant Defender. Feeling good. I feel like Gallant Defender is just OP right now. Um, I don't really like it. I Both Gallant Defender and Righteous Partisan, maybe not as much Righteous Partisan, but they were like, they were balanced before their change. Um, I'm talking about the change that made it that they get their abilities when you have the same number of uh, units on the board as your opponent. It used to be that you had to have less, and I thought that was kind of fair, but now when it's the same, it's just like, it's 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 just so powerful. I mean, yeah, it all goes away if you're in constructing, you have an Earthen Mirth to play on your like, Brave or your, uh, your Kinfolk Grave or your whatever, your uh, Wetland Ranger, but if you don't have one of those, you're kind of screwed. Uh, so, I'm just playing, no, see, this is, you can see in Judgment, big creatures beat little creatures. The other fast start, but it wasn't able to do enough damage, idle damage early enough, and I'm just overwhelming him with, uh, just like, four drop after four drop, after five drop, six drop, so. He's not having a great time right now. And, uh, he's able to take down my spiky spear with a range unit, that's a little annoying. I like to keep the last phase, it could be really useful. Uh, I think I do use it this turn just to take out the Gravelog Guard from attacking. May as well take out his creatures before they can attack. And I just maneuver around. Um, but I think he did something kind of big. Yeah, he went up the Fury. So it does knock his Clock Library off. And it is able to kill my General and my Zealot. But it's not a huge deal because all my other units are going to attack anyways because of the Fury. And I will be able to uh, clear most of his board. So now I'm just like in a good position. There's not much uh, he could do at all. I have Grounds of the Fallen in my hand. Um, he was able to do a little bit of damage early, but not nearly enough to make it relevant. I really like how uh, they how they drew the uh, damage on these crystal idols. It looks really cool. So. You know what I wish with the new idols? I was just thinking. So you to the way you change it is you go to the profile screen and you change it by changing your avatar. I almost wish you could link an idol to a deck. When you save your deck, it asks you what idol you want to be played when you play this deck. So basically you can choose like the decay themed idol or something for like your one of your decay decks. I don't know. I feel like that's cool. It's like more like it's interesting, like, you would defend your idols, your factions' idols, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure what act what factions actually the crystal idols belong to. I think they're just kind of there. Like, these crystal idols have been in the game's art assets forever. Um, nobody actually knew what they were. People suspected they were idols, but they finally started to put these random, like, images in that nobody really knew what they were for the past, like, couple of years um, into the game. And there is, he's got, he's got a lot of grave locks in this deck. Uh, if the grave lock elder nerf never happened, he may have had a shot in this match. So I'm just pummeling him now, just, just playing like threats and all, all sorts of things. He does have eight resources and seven scrolls in his hand. That is quite a lot. So I'm afraid if he has stuff like thunder surge, but it doesn't look like he has anything like that. And uh, Snorgle Brain, Snorgle. I'm not sure what happened there. What do they do? Like, extract the brain from the Snorgle before playing it? There. That's one stupid, stupid Snorgle right there, then. So I play the, uh, the general up top. And um, I have a lot of force coming in on him. Not much he could do when he's looking at a spiky guy and a wing shield as protection. Yeah, this judgment deck is pretty good. It has, like, a mix of defend, nice defensive creatures and then some nice offensive creatures. I wish 
The only thing I wish about it had more, I wish I had more attack buffs. My, the only real attack buffs are Ducal Infantryman and Grounds of the Fallen. I think that's it. Um, but it has a nice amount of creatures. Um, the worst thing you want is when you're playing like an Order Deck in Judgment and you just only have like enchantments and spells. I actually used to think that Order was the worst deck to go in Judgment because I don't know, it used to just not really get me that many wins. But lately it's been working really well. Like now I think in order of Judgment success for me, I'll, there's, there's Lethal. I'll put Growth as the best. I might actually put number two as Order now. Um, and then third, uh, energy, and then fourth, decay. Yeah, I think I would say that now. Um, decay, and here I'm playing decay right now. I don't know, it's just, I mean, it really, any decks, any mono deck wins in judgment if you can dra draft it well and you don't face up against a better mono deck. But I'm just talking, like, in my experience, what it feels like has the most success. It used to be used to be really growth in energy, but I think lately energy has fallen down slightly and order has gotten up a little bit. Um, he's able to curse my my skirmisher there, so that's a little annoying. But there's really... I mean, he plays a festering group, which is really, really bothersome to me. Um, I do go ahead and just kind of avoid him here. I did have to... I wish I could have kept that potter, um, because... Um, it might be useful to get that to get that poison guy out of the way uh, or the or the whatever it is scavenger construct in the middle but he damn it cursed anyway so it got rid of it himself and if you look my board is not looking too good uh, I was just saying how like decay is probably the worst in judgment and it might seem like it's beating me right now. I am set up pretty well for this next turn because the Night Sergeant will make the Storm Knight uh, count I go to zero, so he's going to have to do some interesting positioning here. So I have some choices what I want to kill. I could kill the Witch Doctor if I want, um, but part of me just wants to take out that giant Life Stealer though while I can, so I actually do that, which might not have been the best decision. Uh, I'm feeling okay right now because I do have some nice creatures. He plays a, he plays a whatever that's called, Pest Simulator, which is a an order player's nightmare. Really, um, it could just poison everything in your clumped formation. So I have to be really careful about that thing. And play structure. You know, decay is like the bane of decay. Structures and uh, our luster coming rex down. He plays a return to nature. That was a nice uh, thing for him to have. That hurt hurt me quite a bit. Lost my knight sergeant, which who who was attacking the following turn, I think. And uh, he goes for the curse, and he positions about and gets a trizen in front. So it's it's a close game right now. I'm not sure how I'm going to break into that row with that pesty simulator uh, being protected by a witch doctor and his curse monger back there. It's going to be tough. Um, I am able to hide behind that obelisk for now, uh, but he, he does take care of it this turn uh, using a cursed presence, so that will poison both of my creatures back there. And with my skirmisher being cursed, he won't have time to get an attack off. And now I think I'm gonna lose. He just has gotten good creeds. Uh Doesn't look like I'm gonna come back. I have the arbalester in this deck, but it's not really the ideal deck for arbalester. I don't have that many spells. I mean, I do have, like, didn't I have eight? I don't know. It feels like during these matches I played in this Chechen run, just didn't really, really talk about Arbalester's, like, strength. And he plays a Reaping Mask there to take down the Arbalester. So, yeah. Um, I'm trying to build up anything I can up on the top of the board, but then I put an Irva. Yeah, it's a very good judgment deck for Flayer here. Just when I was saying that Decay, uh, Decay is probably the worst here. Here's Decay probably beating me in, in Judgment. So, I'm just not sure what to do here. I can only play one one, uh, one creature. So I could have actually played Grounds of the Fallen instead there to take out the four health creature. But I decided it wasn't worth it. Also, he has a bunch of humans on the board, um, so they would kill me. And yeah, I'm just getting overwhelmed here. Look at my creatures. They're dying, languided, and I think I just waved the white flag here. 
So that is that. So now that is three wins and one loss with that judgment deck. And this is now the fifth match. Um, on my back against the wall. If I lose again, I lose the deck. So I have to win these next two matches to get the five win full reward. And he gets a pretty good start with the one drop and the two drop. Uh, I just play an Asian net, but he just immediately comes in to engage it. And it looks like I'm just having like a seizure with the mouse there. I don't even know what's going on. Uh, yeah, so he gets a shrine out, which is kind of scary. Um, he's just playing a lot of little drops. Um, I'm just building up with my skirmisher to the top. We'll play an Arbalest here the next turn. And that I do. I played over Storm, and I had an option there as well. Like I said, the Arbalest here doesn't seem like it's attacking that often. Um, I do play the Father here. I want to take out that Shrine at a 66% chance of moving him out of the way so the shrine is right. I could have just used him on the shrine and got a 100% chance, but then I would be moving into the attack range of that crossbowman and that winged soldier. So it's starting to look like I've gained a footing on the match like 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 it was shown before. Um, strong creatures in judgment beat weaker creatures, and it looks like I've just had a nice flow of strong creatures, and here I do get the spell, the decimation, to clear that top row so it is definitely looking like it's in my favor now. A quick turnaround after an early start and idle taken down for him. Um, now all I have to do is play my cards right, and I should be good to go. Um, there's really not much you can do to break in, especially with that general uh, attacking. I mean, yeah, he is able to take it out, but he uses like a couple scrolls to do so, and then I have all these other creatures. So it's definitely uh, looking pretty, pretty good. Um, I get a couple more creatures this turn. I like I like how my creatures are spread out with this deck. Lots of two drops, four drops, five, six. Um, the only thing which only three drop was one one wings uh, wing shield. Having another wing sh another three drop I mean would have been great. Um, maybe I wouldn't have lost the last match, but who knows? His deck was pretty good last match, so. My opponent surrenders there, and onto the sixth match. Now I, I'm four wins, one loss. So this is the last, the last match in this run. No matter what, if I win, um, I get five wins. If I lose, I end up with four wins, for, and have a little lesser reward. So I get the early obelisk in front of a ducal infantry. We both have our, have our, not really played walls there. I could have bothered there to get that out of the way, but I don't think it was worth it. I want to stay on my curve better. Um, so I'm getting I'm playing pretty strong creatures. It's uh, looking okay, um, but he's just trying to bust in, and I'm able to take out his wall here. So I'm, I, the game looks pretty good for me right now. Uh, but he, it seems like he's playing pretty aggressively. Um, he plays a great wolf, which could be pretty bad. And I don't have, unfortunately, did not get a play. I could play this turn. I played the power bound, and my my uh, gunfighter does not have any armor right now because my opponent has less creatures than me. There's a mangy and unleash inner power to clear the rest. All of a sudden it looks like I might be losing the game. But I do use the Simarch Zelt's ability to take down that unleash inner powered great wolf. And I play a skirmisher now, so all of a sudden now it again looks like I might be winning. He didn't even have a play that turn, so that was good for me. Now I'm able to get an Arbalester out. And uh, I have three attacking creatures next turn. Um, and uh, what is he doing here? He plays Champion Ring, so anytime you enchant a one countdown unit or a relentless unit, it's always going to be a threat. I uh, play some defensive units like the Spearman. Spearman, great against growth. If like, I'm actually surprised he's not being played. You, you know he might be a little underpowered though, because even in a meta with a lot of growth, like the current meta, he's still not being played, even in like late game order decks. Um, the Ducal Spearman, that is. He plays a Pother. I don't remember what he decides to kill. The wing shield when it has nothing behind it, so easier kill, or the Arbalest here. Probably the Arbalest here, considering it is um, a huge threat. Plays a crystal bolt to clear that row, so it looks like I'm getting kind of overwhelmed here. He has a lot of creatures on the board. Those two mage jewels attacking. I'm gonna have to get some kind of footing here, or else I'll be looking at only four, only four wins with this deck, um, which I think has the capacity for five. I think it's strong enough. 
I've already lost an idol too. Um, at least not the middle idol. And he played the Horn of Ages there. Interesting, interesting use of Horn of Ages. I don't think he really needed to do that there. But uh, whatever. I sacrificed that for resources so I can play Decimation and no Spear. So yeah, lowering the health of all those creatures uh, really those manuals made a nice decimation. I maybe I could have waited until a later turn to play decimation, but I just wanted to kill them as soon as I could. So and I have a des and I have a blessing of haste for next turn on that on that general to make a bunch of stuff attacks. I'm looking for a skirmisher to wipe through that lane, and I don't get it. If I had a skirmisher there, it would have been perfect. Because all those creatures in that middle are of one health, so one skirmisher would, would be able to wipe through. So unfortunately, I did not get that. So I'm just I just have to box myself in, kind of, and uh, keep. And he, you see what he plays here. He plays uh, Great Wolf, and then a Faith Duty on it. Faith Duty is always the unsung hero of of Judgment, but it turns out to help me there because it stops my general attack, which means he could he could attack this turn when I have a Skirmisher, and I actually go for the almost like board clear. And uh, I could have used Purification to get rid of that Great Wolf, but considering I thought he was going to die the next turn, it didn't really matter. He does get a mage, he doesn't kill my Skirmisher though. I'm able to get him, kill him with now with a Purification because he had a Stag card on him. Uh, so it didn't really matter. And now it looks like I'm going to win the game rather easily. He surrenders, and that'll about be it for this video. So like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this. That is a 5 win judgment, uh, judgment run, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. And keep on scrolling, scrollgers.